Want to know how I add text to my PDF planner inserts before printing them out using a note-taking app? If you said yes, well, you better keep watching. In this video, I'm going to show you how I add text to my PDF planner inserts before printing them out. And I'm going to be using a note-taking app called GoodNotes 5 app. I have planner inserts that are used on a monthly basis, like my habit tracker, as well as on a weekly basis, like my cleaning list. Sometimes I don't want to be writing down the same list, especially if it's the same week in, week out, or on a month to month basis. So instead of writing them out when a new week begins or a month begins, I use a note taking app called GoodNotes 5 app not a sponsored video. Now do make sure to stick to the end because I'll also show you how you can add digital emoji stickers to your planner inserts before printing if that's something you want to learn as well. Hi, I'm Mary Ann. Through my own planning, habit tracking, well-being and budgeting, I hope to inspire you in yours, whether you're new to planning, a seasoned planner or just stuck in a rut. If you're new here, I'd love for you to consider subscribing to my channel and all items I mentioned in this video, I'll have in the description below. So without further ado, are you ready? Let's get started. Now let's quickly talk about the GoodNotes 5 app. It's available in the App Store for your iPhone, iPad and Mac. I mainly use it on my iPad Pro 10.5 inch. But if I do need to update anything on the go with iCloud, it'll sync up all my notes on all my devices so I can update things on the go. GoodNotes 5 app has a lot of features, but today I'm only going to show you how to add text and emojis to the PDF file that get imported into the app. Now you can download the app for free and you also can try it with free for your first three notebooks. Once you've downloaded the app on your iPad, it's time to get started. So for this video, I'm going to use my Apple Pencil only for pointing purposes. You don't need to have an Apple Pencil to be able to add text to your PDF file. So here is the GoodNotes 5 app icon. Once your app is open, click on the plus button and here you can add a notebook, a folder, image, scan documents, take a photo, import files or make a quick note. For this video, I will import a PDF file and for this example, it will be my weekly cleaning list. So I tap on import and depending on where you have saved your file, whether it's in iCloud Drive, on your iPad or under your favorites, you'll go and locate it. Click on the file I want and it'll import it for you. So for those of you who may not know, I do sell my planner insert printable download and I have different files depending on what paper you're going to choose to print on, whether it's letter size, A5, or pre-cut like HP Classic or HP Mini. So this one I print on A5 paper and the first page tells you the printing instructions. For this, you don't have to have my planner inserts to follow along. So if you have purchased other planner inserts PDF file and you wanna add text to it, you can do so if you do use the GoodNotes 5 app. So here's a copy of my cleaning list and we'll just scroll to the cleaning list here. I'm going to grab my stand just so then it's closer to the screen and it's a lot easier for you to see. To add text, you need to click on the text icon right here and then you can choose the font you want. So there's plenty of fonts built into the GoodNotes app and you can also add your own font that you may have bought. For this purpose, I'm going to use the Avani Next Condensed. You can also change the size of the font. So I know for my one, it is size 30. And then if you click the text button again, you can save that as a default. So then anytime you need to add text, it'll be that font and at that size. So now it's time to add some text. Again, I'm just using my Apple Pencil for demonstration pointing purpose, but you can use your finger to tap on the screen. So you don't need an Apple Pencil to be able to add text to any PDF files you import into GoodNotes 5 app. So let's see, let's add my zone. So I'm going to do all capitals, our bedroom, and then use your finger to move that text in the correct spot. Next, you can add your cleaning tasks. So got to do our mirrors, 
dust clothes away. I need to put clothes away and not leave them on the bed or the chair. Capital letters, shelves. So yeah, you can write as much text as you want to remind you what you need to do. But for me, just short form is fine. Okay. Oh, it's going to bug me. Now, if you want to copy text instead of retyping something like for example, mirrors, I've got to do it for our boys' bedroom as well as the bathroom. Then you can use the lasso button right up here. So if you tap, you can lasso handwriting on the page, any images, text boxes, or any comments. So for today, I'm just enabling the text box. And then I want to lasso mirrors. Now it's important that when you are lassoing that you only lasso the area that you want copied. So if it's too big and then you tap and you copy and then you long press to paste, then whatever is in that lasso is the thing that will get copied. So just be mindful that when you are lassoing that you're only copying the item or text that you want. There we go. So I'm going to fill in the rest of this little box here. So I'm going to click the text box. And this one is my boy's bedroom. Move that there. And then again, tidy up the shelves and cupboard. Dust all the flat surfaces in their room. And tidy the toys and clean up the floor. So then you would fill in the rest of whatever planner insert that you are adding text to. If you have other pages that are the same, you'll go and tap your lasso. And then if this was filled out with text, you will lasso all of that. Tap copy, scroll to the next page, long press and paste, and then you will just line it up to the page. There we are. So you have text on your first page, second page, and then if you need to do the same for all the other pages, so then when you are printing it out, all the pages have text pre-filled in. Now from here, you can print it on your iPad. So if you press this share export button here, there is a print button right there. You can choose to print just this page that you're on or print all the pages. So you can have as many copies that you want. You can print only pages two to five or three to five and then also the size of paper you are printing on. And then here, if you have a printer connected via Wi-Fi like I do, you'd press that and then you can print whatever pages you choose to your printer. Now just do be mindful that when you do print from your iPad, the size of the text or print that's on that page may print smaller. So I'm not sure of other iPad models, but I know on mine, if I print directly from my iPad, the text or this box here, so whatever's printed on the page may print smaller. So I don't print from my iPad directly. So for me, what I do is I click the share and export button. I export all the pages as PDF export, and then I will save it into my iCloud. So then I can print it from my desktop. So I printed one that I made earlier. So here we are. So let me show you the two. So this is the PDF planner insert without the text. This is one with the text added into GoodNotes 5 app before printing. So now all I have to do, hole punch it, pop it in my planner, and then when a new week starts, add the date range on top. Before I show you the bonus part where you can add digital emoji stickers to your PDF planner insert, if you're finding value in this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And if you do subscribe, also hit that bell to get notifications of when I upload new videos. Question of the day, do you already add text to your PDF planner insert? If so, what app or program do you use? Let me know in the comment section below. Now it's time for the bonus part. So to add digital emoji stickers, we're still going to use the text button on the GoodNotes 5 app. So tap on the text button and then tap on the screen where you want to add your digital emoji stickers. Your keyboard will pop up, but instead of typing text, if you go and get this little smiley emoji face here, it'll show you all the different emoji stickers. So if you wanted to add the toilet, it'll add it for you. Now this 
size is at the 30 that we had at default. So all we got to do is use our lasso, circle it, tap, resize, and you can make it as big or small as you want. So once you tap out of it, it'll be nice and clear. So it won't be blurry. So let's see how what it looks like if it's big. It's nice and clear. So let's resize that. Make sure it's not too big. Tap the text button again to add more emoji. If we need to do some sweeping, lasso, resize, add to our page. If you didn't want to do the resizing, then you can change the font size. Let's see what that does. Let's see up to 60 and let's save that as a default and let's see how big the picture is. So again, the little smiley face for emoji. So if you need to clean the bathroom, so it is a little bit bigger, but if you did want to make it fit your page, the lasso, again, because it is text, make sure the text box is enabled lasso around, resize, and then make it fit. Oh, there's a glitch in the system. There it is. So you can add emoji stickers to your PDF planner insert. Now, if you have purchased any other digital stickers and you have it in your iPad already, well, then you can add that to your planner inserts as well. There are a lot of sellers that sell digital washi tapes and many digital stickers that you can add to your planner inserts before printing them out and adding it into your ring planner or disc bound planner or even gluing it into a notebook. So when you've filled your planner inserts with the text and emoji stickers that you want, once again, tap on the share and export button, export all as a PDF file, export it and save it to your iCloud. So then you can print it from your desktop. Now, if you do want to purchase the cleaning list that I showed in this video or any of my planner insert printable download, just head on over to MarianneCresp.com. The next step is to watch this video right here. Thank you so much for watching. I appreciate you and I hope to see you again. Bye-bye. <laughs>